Yo. For those of you that pay attention, I can't move the camera. For those of you that pay attention, I'm doing the Night of Man shrink rip, and that's how much of my beer I've had. Unless I topped it up, I could have done that. Now, Mark Walker has been kind enough to send me this uh, this game, and uh, I, th I guess this is the uh, all the expansion stuff. There's all these extra cards and tiles and counters and things, and there's some sort of Alone Against the Aliens. What is that? So I probably shouldn't even go into this first. I should look at the game in order and see what's going on. This is... Uh, Night of Man Solitaire Rules. By the looks of it. Solitaire card. I think it is. Oh my gosh. With scenarios. I guess... Is that what it is? Mark, I'm sorry. You didn't tell me you were sending me this. What, how, how am I supposed to know? Well, there's other things in here. There's lots of counters and stuff and big mechy looking things. But let's ignore that for now. And let's have a look at... Well, you know what? Let's do this. Let's start with something sexy, like a counter. Where are these counters? They're falling out here. Let's do this. Let's have a look at a counter. Since I know a lot of you, I know a lot of guys who actually ordered this, and a lot of guys that I wouldn't have thought would never have ordered this game, have ordered this game. Now I get this bag open, and so it doesn't go over the way. Oh my god, come on! <sighs> okay, can you see that? Look at that bad boy. I mean, if you flick that, I think you'll take someone's eye out, right? I don't know what these counters do. All I know is the artwork. Look at that, mother. Look at that, mother. Hello, Mr. Camera. Look at that. And they're huge, too, right? Look, look how big that is. It's ridiculous. Okay. These are cool. Mark, nice job. And then these are the little information counters here. They're nice and thick as well. This is all for the solo game. So let's not food bar everything up. Let's put this back in here. And this car, this is a card assisted game. I think that's what Mark would call it. Is that what Mark would call it? I think that's what Mark would call it. Oh, this is a nice box too. Wow. It's uh, got the shiny finish to it. Real nice. Deck of play cards, you hold a hand of cards, you play the cards as you go, you can use a certain number per turn. I forget, it's been a long time since I've played and I've played on Vassal. I'm just curious about the components, I want to show you what's going on. Here's your rule book. Okay, the battle for Earth survival. Okay, big font, big format layout, lots of images. Some artwork in there to kind of get thematic on you. Examples with big arrows. Cute girls. Snipers. You've got to have snipers. Stuff. There you go. Really nice. Love it. Charts. We've got the Night of Man range modifiers. And on the back. Uh, terrain and movement done done in the Mark Walker style being non-alphabetical sorry Mark it's not alphabetical non-alphabetical non-alphabetical must be two of these yes there are okay that's nice one for each player nine a man sequence of play very groovy little layout chart and on the back some advertising. Wow. I did not realize there were this many counters in this freaking thing. Two. Five counter sheets? Holy crap. Okay, one. So I don't want these to all pop out yet. But look at those guys. Look at that shit. That's epic. Really nice. Wow. <laughs> My god. Bounces and stashes and mechas and hover cars and dragons and syringe shredders and spider bots and warpers and destroyers 
and character character chits at the top here. Abrams and Bradleys and M113s and infantry units helps complete info counters and now the maps. Wow. Wow, look at the look at the thickness of those. That's really nice. And the, it's got a really nice uh, feel to it. The finish is super nice. And it's got that textured, can you hear that? Textured back on it. So it's kind of grippy. So it's not going to slide on the table. There's one map. There's two maps. Three maps. And the fourth map, which is more of a city map. Holy crap, Rolly. That's pretty cool. So, I, you know, I, I had zero expectations on this game. I know it was late. I know everybody paid their Kickstarter money, and some people got pissy, and other people were just, ah, it's okay. Gotta wait. I mean, really, what is a projection, right? I mean, when we say something's gonna happen, hey, I can't do this down here. So, um, you know, we talk about um, we talk about these games coming out on Kickstarter, and there's so many unknown variables here, and not just with Mark stuff, but you know, Band of Brothers is late. Uh, we had the whole upfront debacle. Uh, there are other titles out there that have been late. So, you know, we got to give we got to give a little bit of grace to these fellas. 12 months, 9 months, you know, when it's a finished product that ends up being like this, I think I'm, I'm okay with it. I would be a little frustrated if I had to wait that long, though, I must say. Um, you know, people are doing the best they can do. Once again, we're talking about a mom and pop shop that uh, is trying to work out the system so that it makes the best sense for them to make their living and... Uh, and uh, deliver quality product and I think this is the quality product arm of the Mark Walker game publishing empire right and then he's got uh, you know the tiny tiny battles and other stuff and the art magazine which is a totally different category of things anyway later that is not a man and I'm impressed later